to clean out my car, our car, because it needs it. And I thought I'd just entertain you guys for a little bit today. So it's a nice day to do it and rather do it now than later. So yeah, let's go clean up about my car. But yeah, my garage look a mess. Okay, so I gotta clean out the car. I was supposed to do a car tour for you and I may do that after I clean the car or while I'm doing the cleaning of the car. But I think all that I need to do is kind of sweep out the crumbs and stuff because for some reason our cord, our long extension cord has stopped working. So I can't reach it all the way outside to vacuum the car out. All right, put your coat on. There you go. Like the plug out here don't even work. Go, go out there. You got your coat on. Let me see if it works out here. I gotta make it work or something. Or it look like I may just have to hand uh, sweep the car out. Dang, nothing the easy way ever. Hard part, because there's only so much a vacuum can suck up. 
I still gotta wash Olivia's car seat. I'll do that after this whole thing. But this is our car. This is our Kia Sedona. Um, we had a Kia Optima first. Then we moved. Julia. Julia, no. Bring the bike up here. No, Bring it back. Take it back in the garage. We had a Kia Optima. We now have a Kia Sedona. The reason why we have the um, Kia Sedona now is because for the simple reason, our Kia Optima only fit like uh, family, but not our family, because we have a family of five. And this minivan does a lot for us. As you can see, she needs to be washed and cleaned on the outside, not just the interior. But yeah, my stand is in there from when I was recording. But yeah, this is a, I believe a seven seater, seven or eight seater, I believe so. And what you can do is you can move the seats up, back, and you can level the the headrest and then the armrest, of course, and then the back with these, uh, this here. You can pull this to position the the seat, and this is to move the entire seat. So, and I love this car because it's so much space. Like, I can sit up here and have my seat all the way up here, and it's still spacious. I love that we have, it's iPhone operated, so you can use Siri to do a whole lot of stuff. My husband don't like it because he has an Android, and I have the uh, Apple iPhone 8 Plus. So, he don't like it because it does not respond to Androids. That's the only sucky part about this car. If you don't have an iPhone, you're not going to be able to use the map. On here and you're not going to be able to use uh, Siri it's Siri operated yeah like I said if you don't have an iPhone you're not going to be able to use those um, accessories to this car uh, so that's the only reason why he don't kind of like the car because of that um, but other than that she drives smooth and she does run you some gas and it's not bad it's not all the way bad but it's like that is some money compared to our Kia Optima she didn't used to suck up that much but um as far as family vacation wise, everybody is comfortable. Julia's seat can adjust itself like this entire seat can lay down or lift up. And Julia can adjust her seat where if we were on the road and we wanted her sitting back, we can sit pull that, that seat behind her back a little bit to adjust her for that. It has cup holders and everything. I think it's a good family car. <laughs> If you have a big family, it is a great car for a huge family. Y'all, this car saved us. It really has. Can you imagine um, driving around in a Kia Optima with three kids? And we did that. And I'm talking about y'all. The car was so packed and so small with all of us in it. It was ridiculous. You could fit a lot of stuff in here, y'all. We have like fit... Uh, we had you can lay down these seats back here you can lay down all of the seats but you can really lay down those seats and we fit um what is it dishwashers in here two of them at a time um a whole door we had a whole door in here in the middle y'all we we can fit so much stuff in our van when we lay down these seats and uh position these seats here upright and uh fold it it's so much in here you could do with this car let me take you to the trunk because i haven't cleaned it but i'm still gonna show y'all what the trunk look like pay no mind to it because we had our dog in here transferring him back and forth now he's remember he's a big uh german shepherd don't get in there it's nasty. he's a big german shepherd all white german shepherd and he fit back here y'all he fits back here like um this compartment here is big enough for him and daisy so he just sits or he'll look over the the window compartment but yeah we can 
take the seat down using this handle I gotta vacuum all of this this is what happens when you have an all white dog just just hair everywhere nasty but yeah we can put these seats down and we create more space in the car this is the car from this angle with all of us in the car could you just imagine all of us very spacious very comfortable and uh, yeah you put a tire back here you can put anything and it closes like it still closes y'all even if you put a little stuff in here you can't put a whole lot put a little stuff in here it closes our groceries we can fit all of our groceries in here when the, the car is empty out it has to be empty out I can fit my uh, what is it my added car seats get back down here I can fit the rest of my uh, my strollers back here I fitted two strollers back here and y'all this is just a comfy car this is a Kia Sedona now this is not the updated version I think this is the 2015 Kia Sedona there is a 2017 there is a 2017-18 Kia Sedona and it has a lot of accessories a lot of cute gadgets to the car it has like uh, TVs inside the headrest and then it has like um, TVs up there it has um, heated seats it has a whole shebang but if you if you're just looking for the downgraded version this is a well good uh, car too this is just like the step backwards to the upgraded version and I, it's still all the same just the only difference it has many compartments like I'll show you uh, in the other car it uh, the updated version it has a compartment here in the floor so whereas our car does not have the compartment in the floor so it has many and then the other one has like outlets where you can hook up your laptop down here and so many other things but we do have outlets where we can hook up chargers and so be it you know in like the 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 cigarette lighter port here and then of course the the door your regular holding compartments here where i keep my phone all the time seen here look at the kids I, I could have sworn I just told him not to climb back there in that nasty thing. Get out the back of this car. It is so nasty. Get out the back of it. Olivia, do not climb over. Get out the car. Do not climb over there. That is nasty. Get out the car that way. So, y'all, this is my um, my little tour and a little quick cleanup because I was not going to be doing a whole lot of cleanup. I just wanted to get all the crumbs up that our kids collect in this house over time. So yeah i need you to get down you're not gonna climb in the car over there like that you're gonna put his stuff down and go but i just wanted to show you guys that and just what our car looks like it's really nice you know upgrade from what we had before so i'll just come to the conclusion of the this video y'all i got so much other stuff to do still got to finish vacuum out the back of this truck and after that i'm done so i'll see you guys in my next video